Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, this is a response video to Veritas 48's um, video, Five Questions for Atheists. Uh, question number one, he asks, is, why is there something rather than nothing? Um, well, first I want to say that <coughs> for us to discuss that, there, there obviously has to be something. So, I mean, we've realized the only scenario that would allow us to to ask such a question it doesn't imply anything but random chance though no matter how you look at it and I would ask this question can you even imagine a void is a void of complete nothingness even imaginable would there <laughs> you know it, it's a that is a hard concept to, to even wrap your head around to think about there ain't being completely nothing, just a void of, of nothingness forever and ever. That, <clears throat> but there's no no purpose to there being anything. There just there just is. Number two, what theist arguments are most compelling? For me, none, because any argument that is slightly compelling is wrapped up and intertwined with an argument that eventually breaks down completely uh, every theist account is like that and so for me it's nothing there's very good points that theists can make and and such like that but there there's nothing that has come remotely close to convincing me or, or making me question whether or not I should ascribe to uh, any specific religion. Number three, what is the ultimate meaning in life? None, and I can say that with complete confidence. There is no end-all goal. There is no teleological thing going on here. There's Life is not directed. Life just is. It just keeps going. I, I mean, yes, you, you already acknowledge that we can create our own purposes in our own mind. Like, I had something I wanted to do today, and after I make this video, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So that was my purpose for the day, and we can do that for over the course of lifetimes. But is there a purpose for life itself? Absolutely not. Number four, um, asked about background a little bit. Was I raised in a religious background? Um, not at all. Uh, my mother is Jewish, but she's not a practicing Jew. I don't think she's ever gone to synagogue. Um, she does believe that there's a God, um, but she's she's not a steadfast adherent to to Judaism. Um, my father was Catholic, but he was forced to go to Catholic school, and as such. <laughs> having exposure to such dumbass people that at Catholic school he you know started questioning stuff that was shoved down his throat every day and he is now an atheist um so I was not raised religious and I actually had someone who went through the same thing as me except because he was forced to and I, I just I chose to when whenever the subject of religion was broached as long as I can remember which four or five years old I, I was like that's nonsense that doesn't make sense that's stupid and I've been that way forever um and my father my father didn't embrace it but when I when I would talk to him about stuff like that he had come to many of the same conclusions later in his life so that was a that was helpful um just being accepted you know and um fifth what's the goal of atheist activism um well my goal at least is that i believe that religion has a negative effect on society and as such society would be better off without religion Therefore, if we can actually demonstrate to people that what they believe is incorrect and, and not factual, that we would eliminate a, a great evil for, from society that 
you know, is the cause for a lot of racism, sexism, homophobia, all that kind of stuff, you know, that's that's not good and a lot of it has a lot of it has foundation in religion. So I was that that's my goal. A lot of the other atheists would it grew me on the on the other goal which is we don't want to have religion forced down our throat and it is if you wanted to keep it a private matter you could but there's religious laws religious zealots all over this country that are, are quite public and and that is offensive when you think that <laughs> theology is is dumb as shit and yet you have to adhere to laws based upon it you know, it, it, that is offensive. So, um, there you go. Peace.